A Japanese scientist has invented butt breathing. And no, I'm not just joking. Scientist Takanori Takabe was awarded an Ig Nobel Prize for inventing a way for human beings to breathe out of their butt and survive off of that amount of oxygen indefinitely. The Ig Nobel Prize is awarded to scientists that first make us laugh and then make us think. And this is a real thing. It actually has a huge impact on almost every field of medicine because it's an alternative to human lungs. And he first got the idea when he noticed that some animals were able to absorb oxygen in their rectum. So he started with animal experiments primarily on mammals and gave them perfluorocarbon, which is an extremely hyper oxygenated liquid via animal or rectal catheter. Now, as wild as this seems, a lot of you have probably seen the James Cameron movie, The Abyss, where they drown a rat in this liquid and then later go down to the bottom of the ocean breathing this oxygenated liquid. Well, what the scientist is basically doing, and we're just summarizing here for the sake of short form content, is put this underwater diving liquid, this hyper oxygenated liquid from The Abyss, into the butts of various mammals that are similar to human beings and it was discovered that it provided enough oxygen to their bloodstream for them to survive it's not as good as lungs it's not super healthy but it does help them survive and it's very serious research uh cincinnati children's tokyo medicine and dental university think it might save lives here's another one of his images and the reason that this can save lives is because if your lungs fail, right? If your lungs go down and you can't breathe, there aren't a whole lot of alternatives out there. There's not a whole lot people can do to oxygenate your blood, but now we do have this one alternative. You could give a patient a rectal catheter with perfluorocarbon and oxygenate their blood for uh, quite a while. I think they can survive days on this, if I'm not mistaken. And it uses technology that was once sci-fi, but based on reality. It's stuff that we're all familiar with. And I think this can save lives. If you come into the hospital with your lungs collapsed, if you have a lung problem, if anything goes wrong, instead of being put on a vent or something, you can just get this and it's probably safer. We have an alternative way to oxygenate blood. So while the butt breathing story is very funny and I laughed at it and even this is go ahead and crack joke, but seriously, uh, kind of nonsense in the article, this has a lot of potential. This could save and change lives, no joke. So I'm extremely impressed at the absolute outside of the box absurdity of this idea and at how well it works.